I spent 10 days testing all 12 AI workers at Cintra X, and yeah, we need to talk. Cintra claims to be your workforce army working while you sleep, managing everything for you. Long story short, that's bullshit. So after using Cintra X for 10 days and uploading a bunch of files, sending in all the information that I have and answering a lot of questions, I would think it would bring some better ideas to the table. Now, every day with Cintra X, your workers bring in a new idea. As you can see, some of these ideas look great, but a lot of them are actually useless. And I'll show you that part later, but these ideas are just long frameworks and they don't actually execute for you. I didn't end up using any of these ideas anyway. Additionally, Cintra also makes you answer questions every single day. At first glance, these questions are great. They get you thinking about your business and they excite me. However, after days two or three, it kept asking me the same questions over and over, and it just kept getting repetitive to the point where I wouldn't even want to answer them anymore. Um, and some of the questions can also be answered through the files that I have fed it, although it doesn't seem to look at it much. Now I'm going to rate every single AI worker that Cintra has, starting with Soshi, the social media manager. She's probably the most useful one of the bunch. From my experience, she doesn't actually create good content, but she can bring in decent content ideas for you. But again, the problem is that she doesn't actually do work for you. You have to to take her ideas and then have to do the work yourself. As such, I rate her a three out of five. Then moving to Buddy, the business development guy. Same thing as Soshi, honestly. Could bring in really good ideas, but just has very bad execution. I rate this one a 2.5 out of five. Then I move on to Emmy, the email marketer. She's good because she can give you ideas for emails that you may have not thought about before, but honestly, her emails are clearly AI generated and you're better off just using ChatGPT or writing them yourself. So 2.5 out of five. Now I will do Scouty, the recruiter. This one to me is just useless. Ideas are terrible and execution is not great would much rather just use chat gpt one out of five <laughs> let's do busy you know virtual assistants are supposed to save you time from my experience using busy she just overwhelms me with random ideas that i would have to work on so i don't really have the time for that i rate her uh two out of casey is the same thing as busy customer support that only puts more on my plate 1.5 out of gigi for personal development it's just not for me at that point i'd rather just use deep seek or chat gpt one out of five comment for e-commerce it's not too relevant to the business that I'm starting at all because just my business model is different. However, it does have some good ideas, but it did also get my company name wrong. So I'll give it a two out of five. Dexter, the data analyst is not useful either. It had bad ideas to make a ROI calculator and some other ideas previously, but then the formula for the ROI calculator isn't even good. There are so many things that need to go into that formula. One or 1.5 out, out of five. Millie, the sales manager, probably brings in the worst idea out of the bunch. Uh, one out of five. Penn, the cost copywriter also has really bad ideas but it's actually not bad when it comes to executing on those ideas it's just very long and overwhelming to keep up with so 2.5 out of Xiaomi the SEO specialist can have good ideas but the execution is much worse than ChatGPT now I'll summarize the key takeaways that I've taken away from using Cintra X for the past 10 days I'll start with the positives for one it can bring in some pretty good questions to the table that get you thinking about your business you know questions that you may have not thought about before and questions that even investors would ask about also it can bring in some pretty good ideas to the table on initiatives or projects that you should undertake it just doesn't really do the work for you which leads me to the cons for the cons one it doesn't execute it adds things to your to-do list two the questions are repetitive by day three i was getting the same questions over and over again and maybe that was just me three don't do Cintra x it's overwhelming if you're going to use Cintra, just use one or two of their workers and then four it just doesn't deliver on its promise it doesn't save you time and it doesn't work while you sleep man if i can't use Cintra, then what do i do guys there's so many more ai tools out there in fact there's over 30,000 AI tools out there. So just give a few. Blaze AI is great for content creation and idea generation, not just for social media, but for things like newsletters and blogs. Metricool is my personal favorite. You can schedule posts across all social media channels and manage all your social media channels on there and create content very easily. And if not any of those, you know, ChatGPT, DeepSeek, Grok, those are all great for research, advice, idea generation, and execution. If you've used ChatGPT projects, keep using it. I love it. If you haven't used it, go try it. It's amazing. It replicates exactly what Cintra does but 20 times better. Overall, I give Cintra 2 out of 5 stars. Maybe other people find it helpful but it's definitely not for me. So let's cancel this subscription. Manage billing, cancel, then wow, it offers you 80% off for life. That's totally fair. Oh, and then it offers you 90% off forever. Do they know? It like, seems like they're scamming people with their software. I mean like, I wouldn't even use Cintra even if it was totally free. By the way, you also have to email them 14 days in advance to get your money back. Uh, there's not an option to for any button to click to get your money back. So make sure you email them if you try the free trial. Thank you for all of those that have made it this far. If you want more videos like this, please hit subscribe. This was my first ever YouTube video. I'm also launching a company named Nebula in April, a platform and mobile app to help people discover AI tools in a better way. Follow along to stay updated.